Tracken One now allows you and your employees, through the Track Time module, to track work times and have those times flow directly into the pay run to calculate the pay for the period. Before you can use this feature, there are a number of points you must attend to. Firstly, you must acquire the Track Time module. So on the portal homepage, click the three dots of your book tile and select Settings, and then customise your Reckon 1 modules. If your book is currently a payroll only version, you must activate the core module by clicking on Required. To use Track Time and Payroll, you will also need the medium service level for the Pay Employees module. So if you have subscribed to Light, you will need to upgrade simply by clicking on the Medium option. Now you can select the Track Time module. Click on what's included to see the difference between the service levels. The light service level will allow employees to enter and view their work times. But to use timesheet data in your pay run, you must have the medium service level. Note that time tracking can also be used in conjunction with customers and suppliers and to manage projects. So click on the button for medium. Scroll to the bottom of the screen to see your selections and total cost of your updated subscription and click Next to complete the purchase. Next, your employees must have a Reckon ID based on their email address on the Reckon network. You can set these up for your employees and they can respond to the email that will be sent them and change their password to maintain their security. So open a new browser tab and go to portal.reckon.com and click on the register for free link. Fill out the contact details. For the password, use a generic one like mybusiness123, but do not tell your employees this password. Complete these security checks and click on create an account. An email will be sent to the employee to verify the email address. When they attempt to log in, they can reset their password. The user can now log into the Reckon network and you can proceed to give them access to the book. We need to create a set of permissions, called a role, to restrict these employees' access and view to enter their work times and print out their entries. This way your transactions, financial, commercial and personnel information will be hidden from their view. Go to Settings and Roles. If a timesheet entry role does not exist, create one. Click on Add. Give the role a name, like Record Work Time. Give it a description, like Enter and View Timesheet Data. Now select the permissions required for this role. Click on Day to Day, and on the Timesheets line, tick View, Create and Edit, Delete and Print. Click Save and Close. Your role is now ready for use. While we are in the settings of the book, we'll define how to display the days of the week on the timesheet screen. Go to Settings, Day to Day and Time. In the first day of the week field, select the day you take as the start of the week. The default setting is Monday. Now return to the portal home screen. You need to give the employee permissions to access the book. In the navigation bar, click on Account and then Staff. Click on Add Staff and enter the employee's email ID. Then in the role box, select User. Click Next. This action gives access to your account, but as yet not to any books. You will now be asked to assign permissions to any of the books in your account. Click on the pencil next to the book and tick the permission, Record Work Time, and click on Save. This employee now has access to this book to add his timesheet information. You will need to add the employee's verified email IDs to their respective employee records. Go to Payroll, Employees, and select the first employee. Here on the General tab, in the Employee Username field, add their email ID. Click Save and Close and repeat for each employee. 
When the user logs into the Reckon portal, they will need to ignore the invitation for the 30-day trial and click on the Shared With Me link at the top of the screen to see the tile for this book. Inside the book, they will only be able to access a timesheet function and will not be able to see or access any other part of the book. You and your employees are now ready to work with timesheets in Reckon 1. Thanks for watching this video. You can now view the video Tracking Employee Work Times with Timesheets for a guide to accessing and entering timesheet information. See the subsequent video Creating a Pay Run from Timesheet Information for a guide to use the timesheet information in a pay run. If you have any questions, please refer to help.reckon.com or go to reckon.com forward slash support.